Hi, this is Marcus Pulis, and this is Aquarian Anarchy again, and today I want to talk about unity, and anarchist unity uh, in particular. Um, so many times in libertarian, anarchist, voluntarist circles, we get caught up on small things and small differences between one group and another group, and it may seem like some of those issues that we get caught up on are important. Um, and they may very well be very important to you. As an example, uh, the, the difference between an anarcho-capitalist and an anarcho-communist. Um, I don't hyphenate my anarchy. Um, I, I just don't. But um, when looking at what we would have economically um, after the end of the state, I think that um, a free market is a much better model than a controlled or community-based market, which a um, anarcho-communist would, would agree with. And that's great. Okay, there's a difference. Why are we fighting about it? Step one, get rid of the state. Step two, worry about economies, you know, and I think that I, so many times I, I, because I post a lot of memes online, people have attacked, oh, that's black and yellow, yellow, which, oh, it's bad, it's bad yellow, or, oh, I noticed a red anarchy symbol, are you a communist, oh my goodness, red, come on. It's color. This is this is just divide and conquer. This is nothing more than choosing a team. It's tribalism. And the, all of that goes to help the state. Step one, get rid of the state. You know, my friend Adam Kokesh talks about localization as being a way to get rid of, get rid of these problems. And he, he's absolutely right about that. Why do I care what your community does? In fact, I encourage you to do whatever it is your community wants to do. If you want to throw everything in a pile in a communist fashion and divide it out, and that works, we can learn from that. And maybe I modify it slightly, and I can use that to, to have what I feel is more of a free market example. Or And maybe what I do works, and maybe what you do doesn't work. The point is, that the more we fight and over things like words or colors or um, those kinds of things, the, the less we're fighting government. Um, you know, they, they don't care. They, they have an economic model. It, it does not matter which government you're talking about. The government has control of that, of that economy. Whether you are wanting your community to have uh, control over your economy or not, they do not. They, right now, the government has complete control over the economy and it spends it on stupid things. And including war. They're, they're busy killing people and stealing from people and taking property. You know, many of these, uh, uh, these people who call themselves anarcho-communists don't believe in property rights. I disagree. But in your community, if you don't want to have property, that's okay. Do that. You know, and, and whatever works for you. I'm not trying to stop you from doing that. But look at me as an ally and not an enemy. Don't attack me on Facebook or Twitter or wherever it is and, 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 and not attack the government. You know, my targets aren't. When I go out and I'm criticizing somebody, my targets are I, you know, I might post a meme that supports somebody. For instance... Um, I, I like Larkin Rose. I don't always agree with Larkin Rose, but I like him. And so he'll post something, let's say, on Twitter, and I'll go in and I'll I'll see, oh, I have a meme that suits that, so I'll, I'll post that meme. It's not to criticize Larkin. That's to say, hey, I got a meme that fits what you're saying. Here you go. Look at that. And, uh, and, and so that's good. But at the same time, I will use similar memes. And it should be obvious that that I'm agreeing with Larkin about whatever the, the particular issue was, because it, whatever I posted is something along the lines of what he's already said. 
But let's say Donald Trump posts something, and it's it's against free speech or something like that. And I post the same thing I just posted on Larkin, the in support of free speech, and I put a poster on Donald Trump because I'm trying to make a point. Listen, buddy, you are not for free free speech. So my my I guess my vitriol and my my attacks, if you will, which I would don't believe in violence, but but my uh, my my issues with with Trump or Bernie Sanders or whoever it is that I'm talking to, or what, whatever statist it is, is to point out the you know the the problems that they have because they have lots, and too many times we we get caught in infighting. And in, in names. Now, I prefer the title, and, and it's hard to believe because I use the name Aquarian Anarchy, and I have anarchy in the name, and I frequently use the word anarchist, and part of that is I'm taking it back. You know, there is a long history of good anarchists who are are out there, um, but I actually prefer voluntarist, and the reason that I prefer that title is because I think that it is much more um, accurate to my own personal political and, and sociological beliefs, because I believe that the only valid associations are voluntary, and therefore not government. For those of you that don't, that might be watching this and don't know, anarchy doesn't mean that you just run amok. That's not what it means. I just recently posted a, a, a meme uh, by Hayek that talked about that um, freedom doesn't and, and liberty doesn't mean we don't believe in organization. Um, there, there's nothing wrong with having rules in a community. You know, you can come together voluntarily and agree, well, you know, we shouldn't kill, we shouldn't hurt people, we shouldn't, you know, maybe maybe even, you know, in your community, we don't like dogs, you know, so you don't have dogs in your community. Oh, okay, I won't live in your community. That's fan, fantastic, great. But, but I think that 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 term is much more appropriate, and I also think that term can be appropriate across the board. I think that it's appropriate for an anarcho-communist. I think it's appropriate for anarcho-capitalist, uh, and I think that because it, you know, if you have come into an, a community who, who doesn't believe in property rights and doesn't believe in uh, in, in, in believes in, in a collective um, um, distribution of wealth and, and those kinds of things, um, and you enter in there voluntarily, that's that's fantastic. I mean, that's pretty much what the Amish do. And, I, and, and you can argue about whether it's all that because they pressure and do all that, but more or less, it is a voluntary association. You can leave. And you might say, well, but if the communists get their way, then they'll be everywhere. If we really believe, and by we, I mean people that believe in the free market, that the free market is superior, why should it not compete? Why should it not? Isn't that just the, the free market into itself? So what I'm saying is we need to stop fighting each other. And, 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 and if you followed me at all, um, you know, with the work that I've done with Voluntary Visions and the work that I'm currently doing with Aquarian Anarchy, you see that a lot of my message is coming together. It is stop with the division because we need to, to focus. And, and I even fall for it. I get into the, the you know, trying to figure out what's right and wrong and, and who's this and that. And, and I think that's a mistake. And I think that that, that I, I realize that for me that it is that it is a mistake. But we don't have to continue to make those mistakes. We're human. Everybody's gonna make mistakes. And what I what I wanna see is I wanna see us instead of spending our time fighting each other on Facebook, I, I and I'm talking about everybody who who is libertarian to whoever wants to end the state. I don't care what you call yourself. And at this point, there's like 10,000 different titles for people that are trying to, to, to go after the state. And so call me whatever you want. I don't care. I, I call me an anarchist because I think that makes sense. And I call myself a voluntarist because I think it makes sense. Now, many people say, well, then that means you're a libertarian because you believe in liberty. Oh, okay, I, I'd call me that too. And But at the same time, there are lots of people that consider themselves minarchists that are libertarians. And I'm okay with working with them too. Whatever it takes, 
I don't care. The state is violent. It is it is hurting people, and it, 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 it is a thing should be a thing of the past. You know, th and that's really what it's about. We've evolved past this, and we just haven't caught up that we've evolved past this. And the state certainly isn't going to give a power just like, okay, we're done. See you later. That's not going to happen. We're going to have to make sure that that happens. We're going to have to, you know, just like, the, and I'm not saying bloodshed, I'm not saying start a revolution. I don't think it has to, to, to happen that way. I think we can peacefully evolve. And I think we are. And, and the more we come together as people who are attacking the state and who are going after the, the violent uh, monopoly of force, the more we come together, the more they weaken, the more they're going to get mad, but the more we're going to win. And we are, that message of peace also resonates with people. Instead of fighting, you know, people point to Antifa as being these anarchists. I don't, I, one, I don't think that they're actually anarchists. Um, I think that they're, they use the word anarchy incorrectly. Maybe I'm wrong, and I'm sure there are Antifa members that might watch this that, that I, I'm, not, I'm not violent. I don't, I'm not talking about you. I'm talking about the, who the media covers, and I know that the media is controlled. So anyway, stop with the division. Let's come together. Now, if you need a title, Gotta have one. I suggest two. I think voluntarist works best, and the reason is because when you say voluntarist, one, you're going to have to explain it. You're going to have to to tell them, and it doesn't involve this scary word called anarchy, because the the state has very effectively demonized the word. So I prefer voluntarist to to approaching people. But if you're people like me and you want to take back anarchy, I think anarchist works. And, I, and I'm not saying hyphenate it. Just be an anarchist. Just be against government. Just be against violence for cooperation. You know, and, and, and that's where it's at. So this video is a, a plea, I guess, to um, all the anarchists out there. Let's get together. Let's work together and stop working against each other. Stop working. You're not perfect. Okay, I'm not perfect. You will find something about me that is wrong. You will find things to disagree with me about. And I invite that disagreement because, you know, maybe I am wrong and I, I, I need to be educated. I need to, you know, figure it out. You know, I, I, I at one time I was a statist and I, I am very thankful that I'm not, that I learned to be something else. So, so I guess that's where I'm going to leave it, is we need to stop fighting amongst ourselves and refocus our efforts, whether you call yourself an anarchist, a voluntarist, a libertarian, uh, whatever. If you oppose the state, you are my ally. If you oppose my family and my friends um, being violently suppressed by burglars, by bandits, as Spooner would have defined them. Um, if you oppose those thefts, and I'm not just talking about taxation, I'm talking about stealing through every means that the state does, and violence, murder, you know, war that the state does, if you oppose those, you're my ally. Now, my preference is that this happens peacefully, and I think that if it doesn't happen peacefully, the state will eventually over-exert over itself. And um, like John Locke said, that uh, nothing moves people into seditious behavior like oppression. And you, if it gets to that point, then, then my plea is pointless. And the, there will be a violent revolt, and I hate that. And I don't want to see that for my, I have a nine-year-old little girl and I want her to come into a peaceful existence as she grows older. And um, so I prefer that method. And the best way that we can do that is to join each other and move forward. If you like this video, please like, share, um, comment, please. Um, and if you like what the shirt I'm wearing. Notice it's red and yellow, red and yellow, um, <laughs> as is our uh, our logo. If you like this shirt or you'd like to check out anything else we have, please check out our store. Um, I'm on uh, various uh, social media platforms, Facebook, Twitter, Minds, MeWe, um, on BitChute, on YouTube, uh, as long as YouTube still is 
allowing me to talk because I'm sure that's coming. But um, hit a like, buy a shirt. Um, I also have cups, mugs, pillows, <laughs> tapestries, and not just with my logo on it. We also have a bunch of other stuff, and we cover spiritual uh, stuff as well. This video is much more political, but um, Aquarian Anarchy is is kind of the synthesis of spirituality and uh, and political thought um, I mean, wrapped around you on yourself. So anyway, thank you very much for watching, and uh, you have a great day. Stay free.